Shack Dweller's movement, Abbasali Basem Jondolo, is threatening to take to the streets. It says the criminal justice system is failing it. A number of the movement's leaders were killed recently. Last month, a Kanana commune leader, Lindogu Semguni, was killed last month. Of course, the remaining leadership was forced to go into hiding. Abasali now accused the police of not investigating criminal complaints it laid. Let's get more from the movement's Tapela Mohapi. A very good morning to you, Tapela, and thank you so much for your time. The last time we spoke to you, the very last question that Faith Mangope had asked was, where are you guys now? Are you guys safe? And you mentioned, of course, which is something that we had ran a, a number of times, that you are still in hiding. Uh, all of the leadership is still in hiding. You are fearing for your lives, and you are doing everything you possibly can to protect the leadership. Now you are threatening to take to the streets. Essentially, you are putting yourselves out there again, putting yourselves in vulnerable positions. Is this a good idea? Well, good morning, Morena. Uh, good morning to the viewers. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, always good to get this opportunity as the poorest of the poor to actually speak about our pain. Um, yes, of course, we are still in hiding. Uh, we are still in safe homes. Uh, it's a difficult time. Um, our families are worried. Um, we, you, 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 when you asleep and you hear something on the door, you get worried. It's a frustrating period. We are seeking professional help uh, from psychologists so that we can actually heal from the pain that we have. Today we are having a general assembly um, where all Abashali members will be meeting at the YMCA community, uh, community hall. Uh, we will be wearing um, this uh, T-shirt that I'm wearing right now as a symbol of mourning, as a movement, will be mourning Comrade uh, Linda Wutlemgune, who was uh, killed with 13 bullets. Okay. Um, uh, of course, we can now officially say that his uh, partner has survived, who was shot three times, uh, has come out of hospital. Um, and we are very concerned with the police. Uh, we have uh, ask them to come forward. We want to assist them in every way that we are can. We can. We don't. We are not saying that we are going to be passive with regards to this issue. We want the police to come to us, get as much evidence that we have, get statements from the community. But we have not seen that. Uh, to our surprise, um, some of the police who had gone to the scene uh, late uh, days after Linda Wutley was killed discovered that there were still bullets uh, in his homes that were not collected by the previous police officers who came to the scene. So to us, this is is, is, is a show of police who do not uh, care about people who are living in informal settlements. We have never heard from the Minister of Police, whom we called a number of times prior to these killings because we've foreseen this happening. Um, and I mean, we have come to a conclusion that we do not have a, a police minister. Um, uh, in this country for the poorest of the poor, but we have a minister that protects the rights of the um, uh, elites and us as the poorest of the poor uh, who live in shacks, uh, who are human rights defenders, must be killed with impunity and no one is held accountable. And that is a grave concern for us. So you want to show that uh, the police are not doing their job according to your, your statement? You want to show according to your beliefs, that there is no police minister in this country. That's, that's one point that you're wanting to achieve. But what exactly at the very top of the agenda with this particular protest that you are threatening to have, are you hoping to achieve? What do you want at least the country to know about your pain and your concerns? Yes. Uh, Moreda, we are actually taking to the streets uh, in numbers because we want to show our concern the, as the poorest of the poor that we are also citizens in this country and we must always be taken, uh, we must also be taken um, seriously. Our human rights counts in this society and our human dignity counts in this society. It can't be business as usual when uh, human rights defenders are actually killed with impunity and no one is held accountable. So we want to call on the Minister of uh, Police to resign because we render him as a useless minister for the poorest of the poor. But it's, at the same time, we want to say that the Kettlemanor police station, which was uh, supposed to have investigated this, um, um, must be closed down because it is no use to the people of Kettlemanor and it does not protect uh, uh, the people in, in that particular area. So um, that is our call. We are saying that the Minister of Police must resign and let's get a fresh minister that is going to actually take the, uh, all issues uh, regardless of our social economic status. I mean, we had uh, people who have been killed in this country because they were uh, from a political elite. Um, the minister came 
him on record and said that he's giving 74 hours for that investigation to be taken. And people were arrested with immediate effect. I mean, we are now a week away, uh, I mean, two weeks after uh, this assassination of uh, uh, Comrade Linda Wutlem Goni, and yet there has not been any, uh, uh, you know, um, um, breakthrough. And of course, we are saying uh, we want to help the police, and the police are not coming forth. Um, we know that there is a task team that is uh, uh, being uh, that uh, that is being put in place to actually investigate the political killings in Wazo Natal. Um, uh, they have promised to come and get the evidence that we have um, uh, with us right now mm. in, in our offices. Um, which is something that we don't have even have to mention in the media because um, the perpetrators may uh, run away and, 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 and all these things. Yeah. But um, uh, we want to help the police in any way that we can, but the police are not coming forth, and, 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 and this is a grave concern for us. You mentioned that your families are concerned about you. They are worried. They are obviously wondering when are you going to come out of hiding um, and, and, and rejoin them. Uh, do, do they know where you are? Each of the leaders, do they know exactly where you are? No, and um, no, not not uh, uh, at all. Um, I mean, uh, when you are in a safe house, uh, it's it's very limited. Uh, it's only leadership um, that we are in that knows where we are. Um, but we are, I mean, we are walking around with bodyguards, which is. Uh, uh, um, I mean, for us, not very. I mean, when you're a human rights defender and activist, um, you don't need to be protected in that way. But uh, I must say that, Morena, that we have had support from the civil society in South Africa, particularly the le open letter that was written by the Social Economic Rights Institute, that many of the civil society have signed uh, the unemployed, the Mutsabelo Unemployed uh, People's Movement, the Assembly of the Unemployed, and many others have shown solidarity in this regard. That, uh, it can't be that activists can be killed uh, in the manner that we have been killed. We've buried uh, three activists within a space of six weeks, uh, six months uh, this year. So um, we, we are grateful for for that. For that. Uh, but we must also mention that we have reported these in, to the United Nations. We have reported all these uh, reports from to the U European Union. Uh, some of the leaders will be going to Europe to actually, not actually to discredit uh, the uh, South African government, but to say that um, the the, the South African government that you have helped to fight against the apartheid evil, e evils uh, is still there. Uh, we are still as uh, human rights defenders because we are only are being attacked for fighting for access to decent housing, for exposing corruption, for actually uh, uh, fighting for people to access their dignity as, as the poorest of the poor. And that's what we are killed for. Yeah. Um, and it can't be in post-apartheid South Africa that we live in this way when we are fighting for a good cause. I want to go back to my first question, Mr. Mohapi, um, and maybe ask it differently. Is the leadership not scared to be joining this major protest? Are you not concerned that the people that are after you might be there and actually try and finish you guys off? Uh, no, we are not scared. Um, we have no option, in fact, uh, Morena. Um, uh, we, we, we need to actually show uh, that we are... Um, not safe. Uh, the country needs to know. The the world needs to know, uh, and that we, uh, and therefore we um, decided to come out and in this protest and organize this protest um, um, nationwide to say, to say that enough is enough uh, for activists to be killed in this manner that they are killed, and for us to be living in this uh, in this life. I mean, we've been living in fear for 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 a long time now. Mm. Um, it's either we killed or we continue to live in the manner that we are living because already the life that we are living is, is, is a life that um, no human being uh, should be living. I think I speak on behalf of a number of sane South Africans when I say that I hope uh, Linda Gusem Guni's uh, passing was the last from Abatali Basim Jondola's leadership that if you guys are to go out onto this major protest that it does yield the results and, and the kind of uh, effect that you wanted to um, and that you guys do at some point do get out of hiding and go back to your families. But uh, Tapelo, thank you so much for joining us here on the South African Morning.